no idea what all that stuff is there. That is disgusting. White vinegar sit down there because that is just sick. It's loosening it. I don't know what. It's like something busted and dripped down there and you couldn't see it because the bottom tray was so full of pop and beer and stuff that you couldn't see it. So I'm glad we took everything out of there because that's just gross. Good. All right. That's good to go. Now I need to dry out all the drawers real good put some paper towels in them and reload stuff and try to organize it. <laughs> beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice tea. A little extra bottle of Moscato. A blue moon, blue moon. Is that me standing alone? <laughs> and some Red Bulls, which, guess what? I'm going to have one of those right now. <sighs> I need a Red Bull. All this before three to four hours of singing tonight. Yay me!
on. Oh, I gotta wipe this yet. Forgot about that. The kitchen fall cleaning, which has turned into winter cleaning, uh, still continues. <laughs> it's Sunday afternoon, and frankly, I'm exhausted from all the gigs this last week, but I really, really want to try to get all this done before the holiday weekend, and I'm hosting a dinner party uh, next Saturday, so I am just really hoping that I can get through this so yesterday I finished off with cleaning the inside of the refrigerator and now I'm doing above the refrigerator there. Uh, I usually um, put my casserole dishes and the tops and things up there, uh, but it's also been sort of like a, a first aid. Uh, it's just a mess up there. So I'm taking a bunch of stuff out and I'm organizing band-aids and the few other items that are up there and uh, try to throw out some stuff that I swear to God is probably 30 years old up there. <laughs> it's probably not even any good anymore. So let's get to it. Ah, good Lord. What is all that back there? Okay, so I've emptied the entire thing. And on that side, I uh, just kind of reorganized some of my casserole dishes. And then this side, took out everything that was in here and I can't believe how old some of the stuff is that was in this cupboard but let's take let's take a little look-see to see what was in there hmm okay good lord we got vitamins vitamin C and Oh my gosh, antibiotics, airborne, that's probably 20 years old. Tons more of vitamins that are so expired. A lot of money down the toilet there. I have no idea what's in here. I think this is holy water. I can't throw that out. <clears throat> Why'd I do that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is funny. Diazepam, yeah. Little uh, something to put the cat in a better mood when we had a cat and she was kind of crazy cat. That's a cat story. That's for another time. All right, here, lidocaine, more, more vitamins and crap that obviously was not taken because it got shoved up into a uh, closet or not a closet, but a storage thing up there. Motrin. That's expensive stuff, but of course it's expired. Vitamin C, got a little Ny Ny NyQuil, <laughs> some more lidocaine, done. Advil, some antacids that are old, a little baby aspirin, oh my God, it's probably 30 years old. And B vitamins, Prevacid, that's been there forever, throwing that out too. And some band-aids that look like they couldn't stick to something if our life depended on it. All right, and this Dramamine is probably no good either, so. Uh, what's this? Ibuprofen? Nope. Mm, this is for camp lotion for kids that repels mosquitoes. I don't see an expiration date on this, so I will keep that around. Uh, and some iodine tincture. Does anybody even use this stuff anymore? I don't really know, but we've got some anti-itch cream and a couple more antacids that are no good. And the rest of this I'm going to... Uh, kind of try to organize up there and put it back. And there's a trash full of vitamins. Okay, so we've gotten rid of a whole bunch of stuff that had expired and didn't need. Always good to have a basic first aid kit in your house, especially if you have kids or grandkids or a husband who's always hurting himself. <laughs> but uh, I have one of these. We also have one in the back that I put together just for camping to take with us. 
And then now all the rest of this stuff is nice and neat and organized. And all the band-aids are in one bag, all the taping stuff and gauze is in one bag and a thermometer and whatnot. So that's done. Oop, put these away. We got to put those away. Turns out it was worse. <laughs> Next is to clean out the old freezer. Now, I did this not so long ago, so there's really not a whole lot for me to get rid of in here, but I'm just gonna kind of give everything a good wipe down, put it back in, organize it, and then we would be ready to move this refrigerator out. Lord only knows what's behind there. We might find Jimmy Hoffa. Florida sunshine. <laughs> and now back to cleaning. All right. Be very careful when you're wiping out your freezer. things back in. So, a little bottle of limoncello can go right back in here. And I like to put the garlic bread in that little container. And all those darn freezer things, we have a hundred of them. I don't know why we need a hundred of them, but we're very klutzy around here. But I've got ice pads for any of us or the grandkids come over and God forbid they get hurt. I got boo-boo control. And I also like to put these on my foot when my plantar fasciitis is kicking up. What's that? A few more of them. I think that's it. Close are up. Now, down in one of these bins over here, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I got all the ice cream treats. And we got some, these are my favorite at Christmas time. I love those. They taste like those shamrock shakes. Ice 
cream. I'll put that in there too. The bottom drawer is where I like to keep all my herbs. Uh, at the end of the season, I pull whatever's left and chop it up and then freeze it. So we got a little bit of parsley and basil. Added mame. Some mame. Some frozen peas, which also helps. <laughs> You should have to get punching in. You don't want to do that. We will put our frozen veggies here. Got some leftovers. This over here. Hmm. Frozen zucchini bread from this summer. Leftovers. And tater tots. I love tater tots. Oh, guess what? We got a few more of these little suckers. Good for, good for cooling the eyes when you've had a long night and you need to get the, rid of those whoop, puffy eyes. I'm going to just leave those right down here. All right, this one here, I'm going to put all of my ground meat <clears throat> and different meat that I have. I've got some ground meat. i got some sausage links. A little bacon. I can bring home the bacon. Fry it up in a pan. Kill Bossy. Some more smoke kill Bossy. Some hot dogs. And some chicken breasts. And some salt pork. All the meats are in one. And I have no idea why. Oh, you know what? I bought this to do homemade french fries in duck fat. They're supposed to be awesome, but you gotta remember to do that. Down there. Some frozen veggie broth. And these are marked with clam chowder. Clam chowder. Sometimes when you come home from a gig, you just don't have time to cook and you're hungry, you can just defrost a little clam chowder for a midnight snack. So we've got one frozen butter, which actually I'm going to put in here because I'm going to be using it for some holiday baking this week. And we is good. All right, we've got little odds and ends in there. And I just recently bought one of these. i got to find which one it was. It must have been, this is for the freezer, but it doesn't have to actually be freezer. Where's the darn date on this? I can't find it. Well, I'm going to guess it's this one that says October of 2018. So I'm going to put this back in here. Let's kind of leave that off to the side there. And keep your freezer smelling fresh. So we is done with that. And now it is time to move this puppy out and clean back there. Jenny Hoppers? Uh, can we lift that, that rug and bring it out just a little further? Jenny Hoppers? Mm -hmm. That's kind of crazy. Make sure you go too far with the water. I didn't realize we had all this liquid in it. Like, we can go a little bit farther. Okay. Oh, bring on my toe. Hey. Hey, 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 now. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, it's not as bad as behind the stove, but... I mean, like, seriously, what is that stuff, and how did it get way under there? Like, way under there. And I don't know how the tarot ant thingies got way under there either, but that's a good thing. It keeps the ants away. So I'm just going to vacuum this all out, mop it real good with a little ammonia and water, let it dry, and push that fridge back. Found a penny, found a penny. It's my lucky penny. I'm going to win the Queen of Hearts tonight. Okay, so I have opened up my back door to let some fresh air in and the kitchen window as well because I have found that to really get any of that dried up gunk that uh, gets underneath the fridge, I just pour some straight ammonia on there and I let it sit for a couple minutes and then mop away. Now, as far as the rest of the fridge, it's nowhere near as the, bad as the stove, but it's a few marks on there from the paint on the walls. We're just going to kind of scrub those off. Take a look over here. Same thing. 
Just some marks. But we're gonna go ahead and mop that, let it dry, and then push the stove back in there. Not the stove, the refrigerator. <laughs> can't get with the mop itself, you can go down and kind of hand scrub with the scrubby. sticking out at the very bottom of where the paneling was nailed in to the inside of this, the refrigerator area there. And I'm like wiping away, bam, bam, and going quick, and wham, my ring finger on my right hand went right into that nail and cut right into it. And yeah, there's kind of blood all over. <laughs> Thank God we have the hydrogen peroxide and Band-Aid. That's my wife. And he's well, being so kind enough to... That? I just, I, did, it, I just did it so that you would have to clean up the rest of this. Oh, that's, that's very smart of you working. Yes. Okay. Well, this just opened up a whole can of worms. Great. So you see the difference of the color of the flooring behind there and the color of the flooring up to there? Well, that's called wax buildup, even though I strip the floors pretty regularly with straight ammonia. And then we shine them with this uh, glow mop and glow kind of product that John has but since we have this out I'm gonna go ahead and strip that area now and then we'll do the other areas hey, later hey, Logan you know what that means what we're gonna have to sell the house <gasps> no <laughs> I don't think so I love my husband I love my husband too Hey. <laughs> if the smell of the straight ammonia doesn't kill you, the crack will. <laughs> going to let that dry before we move it back and then I'm going to wipe down the back of the refrigerator carefully as well. Any dust. Okay, the whole refrigerator has been wiped down front and back and before we push this back, I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner and there's some vents that are on the back of the refrigerator. You want to make sure that you uh, vacuum those as well because sometimes dust and cobwebs can get in there and it will block the circulation and can cause problems for your refrigerator. So. Bond. Like Charlie's Angels. We are good to go. Now you want to move your refrigerator back, but being careful to guide it in and watch that water line so it doesn't kink up. Or you will have issues. Yeah, maybe that way a little bit. There you go. Straight. That's it. Voila! <laughs> 